Hello friends, this is Durga again from University, a one-stop shop to learn all the technologies. At this time, we are talking about HDPCD practice exam. Already, we have completed the task one. As part of this video, we have to, uh, we will complete the task two. And the main task is cleansing data using pig. And uh, here, notice the comma-separated values of the flight delays files in HDFS contain historical data for airline flight delays. The column in the files match the following schema. So they have given the details about the schema. So these are the column names if you want to use the column names. And also they are asking to write a pig script that satisfies all of the following criteria. So the main thing is this one. Uh, in the first line item, they, they are only specifying uh, the structure of the data, but they are not asking you to do anything over there. But as part of the second uh, task in cleansing data using pig, they have given several things. First, we need to load all of the data in user hot and flight delays. So we have to use the load command using pig script uh, in the pig script, and then remove all rows in the flight delays where the depth time column equals the string na. The output should contain the year, month, day of month. Uh, so out of all those above columns, they are only expecting eight columns, and then we have to store the results, uh, which are cleansed by removing uh, uh, the rows which have department time and sorry departure time equal to NA has to be stored in this HDFS location and finally the script have to be saved here okay so now let us see how we can actually write the pig script for this so make sure you are in the uh, practice exam and uh, launch pig okay the first task is to load all of the data in user hot and flight delays so if you go through my videos, I have covered how to load data using load command in uh, uh, pig. So let's name it as FD, which stands for flight delays. Give the simpler names, don't give very big names, um, so that you avoid too much typing. And then load. And uh, the path is, let's copy paste user hot and flight delays. Control insert and shift insert if you are using Linux based terminal and if control C control V does not work. Okay, and then using pig storage and we have to give the delimiter and the details are provided as part of the first um, uh, first item. Notice the comma separated values in the flight delays files. So those three files um, will have comma separated files. You can validate that before actually typing this. You can say fs minus ls. So you can run uh, Hadoop fs commands by using fs minus ls in pig user hotten flight delays. Okay, so there are three files fs minus tail. So we, we, I want to validate the delimiter. So make sure you start using copy paste. Here I copied the third file and pasted it here. Semicolon and hit enter. You can see that data is comma delimited as specified in the first uh, uh, bullet item of the second task. Okay, so we need to load this data into a relation, pig relation, um, using comma as delimiter. So for that, I am saying fd equal to load and what is the path copy paste the path user hot and flight delays okay no need to give the file names uh, you know, once you give the parent directory um, all the files under that parent directory will work if you copy all the files instead of only these three files you will run into issues so make sure you only copy these three files as part of the first task okay and then using, we have to define delimiter here. So using pig storage and in the single quotes give comma. That will be our first command to load the data which finishes this task of load all of the data in user hot and flight delays. Now remove all rows in the flight delays data where the depth time column equals the NA. So here I have not specified the schema. There is a reason why I have not specified the schema. There are approximately 20 columns. If I have to specify the schema for all the 20 columns, 
it will take long time because I need to understand the data types and all those things. So I will not define the schema. Instead, I will use the positional notation to perform the subsequent tasks. So in this case, I have to remove all rows in the flight delays data where the depth time column equals the string NA. So here you have to use the filter clause. Okay. So FD V, which stands for F, a flight delay valid. Okay. You can give whatever name you want. Filter, what needs to be filtered? I want to filter the relation FD by I have to filter by depth time. Depth time is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is the depth time. If you use the positional notation, this is $0, this is $1, this is $2, this is $3, this is $4. So $4 and not equal to because we want the ones which are not equal to NA. Which are equal to NA needs to be removed. Okay. And then say NA here and hit enter. Okay. Now the output should contain only the year, month, day of month, depth time, unique carrier, flight delay, flight num, uh, arrival delay, origin and destination. So there are only uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, uh, year 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So out of this 20 odd columns, we need only 9 columns. So we need to perform the transformation. How do you perform the transformation? I am naming it as FDT. You have to do for each and you have to apply the transformation on FDV only on the valid records and you have to say generate and uh, uh, the year is the first column. So you can say $0 as year. You can give the names here. No need to specify the data types. And $1 as month i will recommend you to copy paste these names day of month is third one so dollar two here you have to be extremely careful with the position and the column names and then depth time so you don't need to get day of week you have to get the depth time depth time is dollar four go very slow and make sure you you give all the right names and now after depth time unique carrier unique carrier is 5 6 7 8 so 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 ninth column is unique carrier so it, it should be dollar eight dollar eight as copy paste and then what they are asking flight num flight num is dollar nine as copy paste this flight num and then dollar we need arrival delay 10 11 12 13 14 so 15th column is arrival delay so we have to use dollar 14 as arrival delay and then origin and destination which is dollar 16 and dollar 17 because 14 is arrival delay, 16 is the origin and 17 is destination. So $16 as orig and origin. So we have to be very careful with these names origin and $17 as dest. Okay, so it is correct. So we have applied the transformation to uh, discard the columns we are not interested in out of 20 odd columns we are only getting nine columns and this transformation is applied on fdv on which the filtering is already applied and then they are saying to store the results as comma separated records in a new directory called user horton work horton flight delays clean so we need to use the store command now because they are asking us to store the data so store what we need to store fdt the transformed data into where we have to store user horton flight delays clean copy paste so we have to give the, it in single quotes
okay using pig storage because the delimiter they are asking is comma separated so we have to give comma in the single quotes and hit enter now it is running as map reduce job once it is done we will validate the data So now it is done. You can see that 29,534 out of 30,000 rows are loaded into this flight delay screen. And you can also say fs minus tail. FS, first we will do fs minus ls, paste this location, and then fs minus tail, and part minus m minus 0, 0. Okay, I'm applying the tail and you can see that there are five fields in this with uh, uh, comma separated data. Okay, so it is working and finally what they're saying is you should sa save the script in a file named fl flight delay clean dot pig under home hot and solutions. So first type history. We will get all the history of our commands which which are successfully tested exit. Sorry, again I am running history quit and then they are saying under home hot and solutions copy cd ls minus ltr there are no uh, files there is one file solutions.txt don't worry about it they are asking us to create this script flight delays underscore clean dot pig so vi this one copy these four lines which we got from the history make sure if you run uh, any uh, errors in between make sure you copy only the appropriate ones and delete the unnecessary lines use the uh, editor of your choice in case of uh, uh, the exam you can also access the g edit which is uh, um, on the desktop so you can use that in this case because of the slowness i am using uh, uh, my terminal from a mac to connect to the server and i am using the va editor but you can use the editor of your choice now i have copy pasted those mm -hmm. commands here but before wrapping up make sure you test the script for that first you need to remove that directory hadoop fs minus rm minus r because if you rerun to the existing directory it will it uh, it will fail so whatever i have tested as part of uh, pig command line interface i am deleting uh, the final directory now and now what i will do is i will run this script by using pig minus f flight delays clean dot pig and now it will test the script whether it is executing successfully or not it is very important to validate um, after creating the script instead of moving on to the next topic okay so this ta this task as i am explaining it took almost 14 minutes okay but typically it should not take more than 10 minutes okay the first task only took three four minutes to just create the directory and copy the files and this task took almost around 10 minutes okay within 15 minutes we have completed two questions out of 10 so um, practice well uh, so that you don't need to struggle a lot with the uh, uh, with the syntax um, in this case it is fast because i am proficient in the uh, in in this okay now you can see that there are 29534 records uh, out of 30000 so there are approximately 466 records which have the uh, departure location as na which we have cleaned out from our data. And now let us validate Hadoop FS minus LS and make sure the data exists. Our data should be under this location. And also you can say star just to make sure that you did not mess up with the data somewhere in the middle. 
ss minus cat w c minus l which will give the number of rows in that file which is 29,534 so uh, it seems to be working we are not 100% sure we will validate by the end of the session okay so that being said we have completed two tasks in the first task we have copied the files in the second task we have created the script and also we have tested we have the data under this location user hot on flight delays clean and the uh, the pig script under home hot on solutions okay that being said i hope you like the video if if you like it please click on the like button if you want to provide the feedback please use the comment section of the video if you want to discuss further about certifications or big data please join my linkedin group called itversity hyphen certifications or itversity hyphen big data and finally if you are not subscribed to my channel yet please do so you will get to see a lot more content like this over time thank you bye